that our church has gone through, I don't know, maybe nine or ten different relaunches over the time that we've been a church. Every time we relocated from one building to another building, we had to update some things and we kind of called it a grand opening or a relaunch or something like that. Every time we moved buildings, once early on, we changed our name from the Southside Church to Lafayette Community Church, and so we had to do a grand reopening for that one. So we've gone through a lot of times in our church history where we've done like these relaunch moments, and we're basically just at a, a relaunch moment again in a lot of different ways. And so this is nothing really new for a, a lot of us who've been around for a while, but um, I wanted to let you know that that's kind of what we're thinking of. And a relaunch always has sort of a process that you want to work through to get yourself ready for whatever that thing is. And so the process that we're going to be working through is a three-phase deal in short amount of time. It goes like this. In the month of August, we're going to emphasize our perspective and our prayers. We're going to emphasize getting a good understanding, continuing to get a deeper good understanding of what it means for us to be a church, what it means for us to be the people of God, and kind of who God wants us to be. So we're going to spend some time in prayer. I don't know if that's going to look like our 21 days of prayer thing that we've done in the past, um, or how we're going to structure it logistically, but we're going to focus for the month of August on prayer and kind of getting a, a, a biblical perspective. In other words, I'm going to keep teaching in Matthew the same as I've been doing because I want us to get really deeply ingrained with who Jesus is, and especially as we're getting down to the end of the book of Matthew, some really important things are happening. In September, we're going to shift our focus to service and worship. That means, you know, we've never really called these things that we do on Sunday morning worship services. Because service is the thing that you do to worship, not a thing you attend to experience worship. And so we've never referred to these things as services. And so when I use the word service, I mean we are going to serve people. And we're going to look for ways during the month of September for us to encourage you to be better equipped to serve your neighbors. We're going to hopefully do something where we can serve the people of the community around here. I'm going to ask you to come to at least one work day at the church so we can do some service around here and clean some things up and uh, reconfigure some things. So September is going to be about service and worship. We're also going to be investing in our Sunday morning worship experience to beef up and strengthen everything that we possibly can so that our Kidopolis program is strong as it can be and all those other things because the second Sunday in October we're going to market that Sunday. We're going to advertise, hey, come back to the Lafayette Community Church or come to Lafayette Community Church. We're going to have a specific message series that is focused on fresh start because I believe there are lots of people in our community, in our city, who are just so frustrated with the different things that have gone on this last year that they also feel like they want a little bit of a reboot in their lives. They want a little bit of a fresh start in their lives. They want to get a, a fresh start on their relationships, a fresh start on their walk with God or whatever it is. And so in the month of October, we're going to be talking about having a fresh start, second chances, forgiveness, restoration, all those kinds of things. I think it's going to be an encouraging month for everybody who comes. And so that's what September is going to be. So anyway, there's some details that's going to come out in a blog post this week. We're going to up our communication game over the next couple of months, and I want to make sure that every single thing that's going on around here, we're able to communicate back and forth with each other. Because basically, I consider all of you here in the room and all of you who are watching online to be the core group of our church relaunch. Every church needs to start with sort of a core group of people who are committed to the thing that's going to make a difference in people's lives. And so I'm asking you to step into that role over these next couple of months. So we're shooting for October as kind of a big relaunch celebration month uh, to try to reach out to the people in this community who need to know Jesus. And just to be reassuring you of the most important thing that I want you to have in your mind. Our church has never been a church that was trying to get already Christian people to be a different flavor of Christian people. Like, we weren't the kind of church that said, hey, we want to get those people from the Baptist church to come over here, and we want to get those Pentecostal people to come over here because we're going to teach them the right way to do things. That's never been our approach. We never wanted to be a church that helped Christians be different kinds of Christians. We've always been a church that wanted to connect with the people who don't know Jesus and help them see how much he loves them. 
and help them take their next steps on their walk with Christ and their next steps in life. And so that's why we've always had a vision statement along the lines of we want to help people follow Jesus better. So anyway, that's what we're all about. And in October, that's our main emphasis. We want to really reach new people and help them come to know Jesus in a new way.